Aswan, Egypt is a city located in the south of Egypt. Aswan is also famous for its Nubian heritage, with colorful villages and friendly locals welcoming visitors to experience their tradition. The Nubian people have a long history in the region, with their roots tracing back to ancient times. Historically, the Nubians inhabited the region along the Nile River and what is now southern Egypt and northern Sudan. Most Nubians have a darker skin tone, while others may have lighter or intermediate skin tones. Nubian people have faced various migrations, invasions, and changes in political boundaries, but their heritage and culture identity have endured. Egypt, a haven of ancient wonders, has fascinated people for centuries. We've heard about the amazing pyramids and temples and the mysterious pharaohs who ruled the land. However, historical representations of ancient Egyptians have frequently been whitewashed, leading to the misconception that they were predominantly Mediterranean or white in appearance. This is clearly not the case, as the Egyptian heritage has always been tied to black origins. And little did many know, in a secluded area near the majestic Nile River lay an ancient Egyptian city often overlooked by many. Here lies the black side of Egypt that the media doesn't dare to talk about. Come along with us as we explore the heart of Aswan, also known as the black side of Egypt, a place where history comes alive and the spirit of Egypt shines bright. Here you'll find a side of Egypt often overlooked and cast into the shadows due to prevailing white bias. As we go into this journey, we invite you to show your support for our channel. Don't forget to hit that like button, share our content, and subscribe to help our channel grow. Your support means the world to us. And with that, let's dive in. Aswan and Nubia Aswan, located beside the majestic Nile, is a city rich in history and mystery. But to truly understand why it is called the Black Side of Egypt, we must uncover the forgotten story of Nubia, the very region where Aswan was built. The term Nubia holds different meanings depending on who you ask. To most people, the term is often linked closely with black culture and Africa, but for experts like ethnographers and linguists, it points to a specific area spanning southern Egypt and northern Sudan, where black-skinned Nubians traditionally resided. In the 1990s, archaeologists expanded this definition to include a broader region along the Middle Nile Valley and surrounding deserts, stretching from Aswan in Egypt to modern Khartoum, Sudan and beyond. What many aren't aware of is that ancient Nubia was home to highly advanced black African civilizations in terms of wealth, power and cultural progress. The Nubians were often recognized by characteristics like darker skin tone, curly or textured hair, prominent cheekbones, and traditional Nubian attire or accessories such as anklets, bracelets, collars, and other jewelry. Interestingly, the Nubian kings ruled over Egypt as pharaohs for almost a century. Around 5000 BC, African people from what is now the Sahara also started migrating towards the Nile in Nubia. They introduced pottery-making skills. Initially, they were nomadic herdsmen and hunters, but they later transitioned to fishing and farming. As time passed, more people from the south migrated to the region, and it resulted in a diverse mix of African people in Nubia's population. As we stroll around Aswan today, it's hard to miss Nubia's influence that still lingers here. But what exactly makes the city of Aswan the black side of Egypt? Truly, Aswan is often referred to as the black side of Egypt because it has a significant population of Nubian people who have darker skin compared to other Egyptians. Historically, the Nubian civilization thrived in the southern regions of Egypt, including Aswan, and their cultural influence remains strong in the area up to today. Media representation and bias The big problem is, while Aswan is bursting with culture and heritage, the mainstream media often neglect to appreciate this magical place. Notice that when it comes to Egypt, most of what we see in the news or on TV is all about the ancient pyramids, pharaohs and tourist destinations. Seldom do they mention Egypt's strong linkage to the black African civilization. Egypt is located on the African continent, and its population has diverse ethnic, cultural and historical ties to the broader African continent. While Egypt has been influenced by various civilizations throughout history, including those from the Middle East and the Mediterranean region, its roots are firmly grounded in Africa. The ancient Egyptian civilization which flourished along the Nile River is considered one of the earliest and most significant in human history, and its people were part of the broader African cultural landscape. Therefore, Egyptians can be considered African both geographically and culturally. 
Unfortunately, the black side of Egypt is one of the lesser-known aspects of the country that rarely gets the spotlight it deserves in mainstream media. Instead, the focus tends to be on the same old stories about mummies and pharaohs, perpetuating stereotypes and oversimplifying the country's rich and complex identity. And despite the evidence that ancient Egyptians were black, the long-standing tradition of whitewashing ancient Egypt continues. It's nothing new, even if it's awfully tired and manipulative. For instance, here's baby Moses being rescued from the Nile, in a rather inaccurate depiction of the inhabitants of Egypt at the time. It's a missed opportunity, really, because by only showing one side of Egypt, we're denying ourselves the chance to truly understand and appreciate the full breadth of its culture and history. And in doing so, we're overlooking the stories and experiences of millions of Egyptians who deserve to have their voices heard. Despite little coverage from the media, Aswan is quite a magical place where every street has a story to tell. From the lively markets filled with activity to the Nile riverbanks where locals gather, you can feel the city's rich history all around you, as though you stepped back in time and saw ancient traditions come to life right before your eyes. There's also the music you hear in the streets. It's not just any music, it's traditional Nubian tunes passed down through generations. Even the food you'll eat is unique and is not the typical selection you see in other places. This is a lot of food. I'm starving, but okay, let's try it. You have some amazing traditional music in the background. And of course, let's not forget about the people. They're the heart and soul of Aswan, always ready to welcome you with open arms and share their customs and traditions. Whether it's enjoying a meal together or joining in on a dance, you'll feel like part of the family here. Now, let's take a closer look into the beautiful people that reside in this area. In the heart of Aswan lies the thriving Nubian community, known for their colorful homes and deep cultural roots. Welcoming visitors with open arms, they embody the essence of hospitality, eager to share their traditions and stories. Inside Nubian Village, you will be met with traditional music and the graceful movements of dancers. These performances not only entertain but also bridge the gap between the Nubian community and visitors, fostering a sense of connection and appreciation. Hospitality is ingrained in the Nubian way of life, whether it's inviting guests into their homes for a cup of tea or regaling them with tales of their heritage, the Nubian people extend genuine warmth to all who cross their path. These heartfelt interactions create lasting bonds and enhance the visitor experience in Aswan. Meanwhile, for those seeking a deeper immersion into Nubian culture, the community offers a variety of workshops and activities. From learning the secrets of Nubian cuisine in cooking classes to mastering traditional crafts through hands-on demonstrations, these experiences allow visitors to dive into the heart of Nubian tradition. Beyond hospitality, the Nubian community is dedicated to preserving their rich cultural heritage. Through their interactions with visitors, they ensure that age-old traditions continue to thrive, passing down knowledge and customs to future generations. In Aswan, the Nubian community serves as a unifying force, bringing together locals and visitors from all walks of life. Their warmth, hospitality, and commitment to cultural preservation enrich the fabric of life in this captivating city, leaving a lasting impression on all who encounter them. Aswan Tourist Spots Aswan has many beautiful places that you can go to. For instance, when visiting the Nubian village, you'll experience the vibrant colors, unique architecture, and warm hospitality of the Nubian people. The houses in the village are traditionally painted in bright colors like blue, pink and yellow to ward off evil spirits and bring good luck. Another noteworthy place to mention is the Nubian Museum. This museum showcases the rich cultural heritage of the Nubian people through a fascinating collection of artifacts and exhibits. One interesting fact is that the museum's architecture is designed to resemble traditional Nubian houses with domed ceilings and intricate wooden details. Moving on to another remarkable site, the Philly Temple, which was dedicated to the goddess Isis, is a stunning example of ancient Egyptian architecture. One fascinating fact about Philae Temple is that it was relocated from its original location on Philae Island 
to nearby Agilkia Island in the 1960s to save it from being submerged by the waters of Lake Nasa after the construction of the Aswan High Dam. It's also worth mentioning the unfinished obelisk. This obelisk was never completed due to a significant flaw discovered during its carving process. As workers were quarrying the granite, they encountered a crack in the stone, which rendered the obelisk unusable for its intended purpose. The crack is believed to have occurred due to a natural flaw in the granite, or possibly as a result of the quarrying process itself. Rather than continue to carve the obelisk and risk it breaking apart, work on the monument ended up getting abandoned. It's a shame that it was not completed because if it had, the obelisk would have stood approximately 42 meters tall and weighed an estimated 1,168 tons, making it one of the largest obelisks ever constructed. These are just some places full of rich history you can visit in Aswan. There are plenty more so whether you're exploring ancient temples, marveling at archaeological wonders, or soaking in the beauty of the Nubian villages, Aswan truly offers an unforgettable experience for visitors. As we can see, Aswan is quite a lively and historical place. Unfortunately, despite the city's beauty, the Nubian community has often faced many challenges and is still facing some today, not only in Aswan but also in Greater Egypt and Sudan. One big issue is that many Nubians are losing their homes and lands because of large projects like dams and highways. This means families are being forced to move away from the places they've called home for generations, which can be really gut-wrenching. One great example of this is the construction of Aswan High Dam, a great stride to others but a tragic moment in Nubian history. Back in the 1960s, Egypt decided to build the Aswan High Dam to control the flooding of the Nile River and generate electricity for the country. While this idea may have sounded convenient to many, building the dam meant flooding a huge area of land, including many Nubian villages. Imagine living in the same place for generations, your family home, your neighborhood, all the places you love, and then suddenly being told you have to leave because they're building a big dam. This is exactly what happened to many Nubian families. They were forced to pack up their lives and move to new, unfamiliar places, leaving behind everything they knew and loved. But it wasn't just about losing their homes either. For many Nubians, the dam meant losing a piece of their identity and connection to their ancestral lands. And while the dam brought electricity and economic development to Egypt, it came at a high cost for the Nubian people. On top of that, Nubians are still sometimes being left out or treated unfairly in society. They don't have the same access to good schools, healthcare or jobs as other people, which is not fair. Students go to school every day and feel like they're not getting the same opportunities as other kids. Perhaps the school they attend lacks the resources or quality of education found in other areas. They constantly face discrimination and bias from teachers and classmates because of their cultural background. It's not just in schools either. Nubians often struggle to access quality healthcare services, leaving them at a higher risk of health problems and disparities. And when it comes to finding a job or advancing in their careers, Nubians frequently encounter barriers and obstacles that prevent them from reaching their full potential. This systemic inequality and discrimination are deeply unfair and unjust. Every person, regardless of their background or ethnicity, deserves access to the same opportunities and resources to thrive and succeed in life. That's why it's important for governments, organizations and individuals to work together to address these disparities and ensure that Nubian communities are treated with dignity, respect and equality. And there's another problem too. Younger Nubians are starting to forget their traditions and language as they're exposed to more mainstream culture. This is a real shame because Nubian culture is so unique and important. Growing up in a world where your parents and grandparents speak a language that's different from what you hear on TV or in school, it can be tough to hold on to your cultural identity when you're bombarded with messages and images that tell you to be like everyone else. This is the challenge that many young Nubians face. As they're exposed to more mainstream culture through television, social media and schools, they're starting to adopt different customs and languages, sometimes at the expense of their own heritage. But despite facing this huge challenge, the Nubian communities still show incredible resilience and strength. They are still working hard to preserve their culture and traditions, even in the face of adversity. And they continue to fight for their rights and for recognition of their unique heritage. Thankfully, there are alternative media outlets and grassroots initiatives that are working hard to shine a light on the black side of Egypt, the often overlooked stories and perspectives that mainstream media tends to neglect. 
One example is the rise of independent filmmakers and journalists who are using their platforms to tell more inclusive and diverse stories about Egypt. Through documentaries, online publications, and social media channels, these creators are giving voice to marginalized communities and shedding light on issues that are often swept under the rug. Similarly, small organizations and community-led initiatives are making great strides in amplifying the voices of underrepresented groups in Egypt. From cultural festivals celebrating Nubian heritage to educational programs aimed at preserving traditional crafts and languages, these grassroots efforts are helping to foster a greater sense of pride and recognition for Egypt's diverse cultural heritage. Social media has also become a powerful tool for individuals and communities to share their own stories and perspectives directly with the world. Platforms like Instagram, Twitter and YouTube have enabled people to bypass traditional media gatekeepers and reach a global audience with their own narratives, experiences and opinions. By supporting and amplifying these alternative voices and initiatives, we can help to challenge the dominant narratives about Egypt and ensure that all aspects of its rich culture are acknowledged and celebrated. With everything we talked about in this journey, please keep in mind. The next time you see a story about Egypt in the media, take it with a grain of salt. Remember that there's so much more to this country than meets the eye, and it's up to us to seek out those hidden gems and shine a light on the diverse cultures that make Egypt truly special. Thanks for joining us on this eye-opening journey through Aswan, the black side of Egypt that the media doesn't talk about. We hope you enjoyed learning about this hidden gem of a city and its vibrant Nubian community. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating explorations of the hidden black histories around the world. And be sure to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and experiences. Together, let's continue to challenge media stereotypes and uncover the true and powerful stories that represent the black community. Until next time, see you in the next video.